Oh, thank God he's all right. I completely forgot he was coming home. I was so involved with Georgina, I missed the train back. How is she? Oh, she's, she's beautiful to death. I could hardly bear to leave her. You're a liar, Ruth. Andy's headmaster phoned your landlady to find out what was happening to him in the holidays. And she phoned me because, as far as she knew, you and your husband, Mr. Ellis, had gone to the races. I'm sorry. Why in Christ's name doesn't he leave you alone? He's only interested in himself. He doesn't give a damn about anyone else. What about Andy? Hmm? He'd have been alone all night if I hadn't been here. Doesn't Blakely think about things like that? A child alone all night? The whole thing's filthy. He's treating you as though you were a tart. A kid's left a fend for himself. It isn't right. When David asked me to watch the Emperor Ray, such as one. Nothing else mattered. No. Not even your son. What? I'm sick of seeing you on your knees. Someone who treats you like dirt. You've been hitting you again? I don't know. Well, surely even you must know when somebody's beating the living daylights out of you. Please don't. I've uh, arranged for a camp bed for the landlady. <laughs> 